Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're out here, probably one of the most dope tracks in Southern California, and probably in the whole country, actually. Some of you may have heard of it, it's called Glen Helen. And along with it being extremely dope, it's also extremely, extremely gnarly. Especially if you're rocking soupy suspension, which is exactly what we have on our bike. So today, it's gonna be a very interesting day, to say the least. And it's gonna be a true test of the old wrist. See how that thing is doing. Um, this is day four back on the bike since I broke my wrist. I've been a little bit discouraged the past couple of days riding just because it's not feeling like as good as I was hoping it would. It's been like seven and a half, eight weeks now, which should have been plenty of time for it to be feeling pretty good now, but obviously given the circumstances, I couldn't let it heal exactly how I wanted to. And the result has been less than ideal, but the reason we still have super cross suspension on is because I was hoping that these couple days would go really well and I could get back on a soupy track and start riding super cross and get ready for West Coast. But uh, I don't know what's gonna happen now. The wrist is still feeling pretty shoddy, so I'm gonna try one more time today and if it's still hurting pretty bad, yeah, then we'll rest it up for a week or two and then just start grinding for outdoors but uh on the agenda today head out here have some fun at glen helen this is definitely one of my favorite tracks it's like the only track in southern california that actually has like soft like sandy dirt almost which is kind of what i'm used to being back from florida and stuff that being said it's not exactly the best setup for supercross suspension but we'll still go out there and have a blast so expect the usual today guys lots of sick gopro hopefully we'll be ripping out there provide some good entertainment for you guys but uh, i'm gonna try not to talk too much and just get a lot of riding footage in this one so that's it for the intro let's go hop on the bike all right guys well this should be interesting we're gonna find out just how gnarly glenn helen is on supercross suspension should be a great time
Dear Lord, ladies and gentlemen, Supercross suspension at Glen Helen is not the move, let me tell you right now. On a lot of the track, it doesn't feel too bad, like um, coming down into the corners. Front end is definitely really stiff, like the compression is really high, so it honestly just doesn't move. So if I'm going really high speed and hit like a really small, sharp bump, um, it feels like the forks don't go down at all. So that's sick. Um, but the part where it's really bad is like going up the first like Talladega turn. For Supercross suspension, you run the rebound really, really slow. And so as I'm accelerating, the rear end squats down and it doesn't rebound and come back up. So I'm like all the way down in the back stroke. So every time I hit a bump as I'm accelerating, it's literally like I have just a couple inches of travel. You guys could probably tell while I was going up the first Talladega turn, it is a brutal ride. I feel like my rear end is off the ground like half of the time. So Soupy Suspension Outdoors is prime time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to take that setup back to Race Tech and have them set it up for outdoors here pretty soon. Luckily, all the guys over at Race Tech are super cool. I've been working with them for a long time, so they'll definitely be able to set it up and get it ripping for outdoors again. So that's definitely gonna be next on the list of things to do. But for now, we're in the blender out there. Some fast guys here, Joe Shimoda's out there on a 450. There's some other like amateur A guys who are out there ripping. Um, Trevor Stewart is like a pro off-road racer. So uh, definitely have some fast guys out there to ride with. It would be nice to be on a 450 with outdoor suspension because this track is definitely a 450 track. We're having fun. Um, the wrist is feeling better and better every time I ride and today it definitely is like a big improvement. I think I did like a full 15, almost 20 minute mode actually and uh, the wrist held up pretty good the good thing about this track is there's not many like big jumps with hard landings so it's actually pretty chill on the wrist um, as long as I'm not like having really hard landings the wrist is actually pretty good so I thought the track was gonna be a lot more brutal on the wrist but yeah it's actually not too bad next time we come out we'll bring the 450 with some outdoor suspension it'll feel a little better but uh, we're gonna carry on with the day keep having a good time and uh, get back in the flow of things so hope you guys are enjoying we're gonna head out there for our next session now
there we have it ladies and gentlemen we're all done here at Glen Helen I still can't do like too too much riding in a day just because my wrist starts to get pretty sore especially I mean obviously the track gets rougher as the day goes on and I also get more tired as the day goes on so the last session is always a little bit sketchy you guys probably saw me out there getting a little bit whiskey I don't know if you guys can tell how like rough the supercross suspension is out there but dude it is beating the crap out of me so we're definitely gonna have to make a run over to race tech here pretty soon get that suspension swapped over to outdoors so we can keep riding um outdoors i don't know whether i'm gonna end up doing 250 or 450. you know i kind of have like this fresh 250 that's all ready to just put some hours on and then eventually i would sell my current 450 that i raced all the outdoors in and get another race 250 have twisted developments build it up get another set of cone valve forks for it and you know turn that into my race bike or on the flip side i put a little bit of time on this 250 sell both my bikes and get two ktm 450s or maybe gas gas you never know but um either way i know whatever bike that i am going to race i want to also practice on so i know in years past like in 2019 when i raced the 250 class i practiced on a 450 and like i feel like this is the year where i need to not cut any corners um if i'm gonna race 250 i also want to practice on a 250 because you know like there is a difference like um it takes a while to get used to swapping back and forth and spending all week on a 450 and then going right into qualifying on a 250 is really tough so whichever one i race i also want to practice on right now i don't really know what i'm leaning towards even um obviously i'm you know taller it's a big joke i know haha <laughs> so funny leave your comments obviously i'm tall and heavy Heavier. the 450 kind of suits my size better but I feel faster on a 250 for some reason which is kind of weird but obviously a privateer 250 program is always gonna be subpar compared to a factory 250 whereas like a stock 450 is almost as fast as a factory 450 the main thing is you just got to get a 450 handling right so I'm not really sure haven't figured it out yet um, I'm on my weight loss grind I don't know if you guys can tell but like even when I'm editing these videos I can just see that my like face is thinning out um, when I knew I was gonna be racing 450s this outdoor season I kind of packed on a little more size um, hit the gym really hard and now in preparation to do 250 for Supercross I kind of shed all that back off and I, I'm down like 13 or 15 pounds from outdoors so it won't be as big of a weight disadvantage if I keep that up lose a couple more pounds here but yeah I don't know not really sure what I want to do yet maybe you guys have a little bit of input there um, and like what you want to see me race on but but uh, either way we're starting the grind early we're gonna be in killer shape um and we're gonna have some killer speed by the time outdoors comes around so having a good time out here um the wrist is getting better and better i think it's not going to be an issue for much longer um especially if i take like a week break here and let it uh really like heal up starting to feel better um things are starting to fall into place for outdoors we're putting a program together and yeah, I'm happy. I'm in a good place right now. So uh, yeah, the takeaway from this video, don't ride super cross suspension at Glen Helen. It's not a great time. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, drop your comments down below you, what you want to see me race on this year. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.